are at the Spring AQS Quilt Week in Paducah. And I'm here with Darlene Donahue from Hilton Head, South Carolina. And you're the third place winner in the Wall Quilts Movable Machine Quilted category sponsored by Tin Lizzie. Great. I remembered all that. <laughs> <laughs> and so let's just talk a little bit about your beautiful quilt here because it certainly is a gorgeous album. Thank you. And Thank so you. tell us first of all about the pattern. It was a Sue Garment pattern and I first saw her working on this on her blog when she was first developing this pattern and I just loved it and knew I wanted to make it. Well, it is absolutely gorgeous. And so we know that it was quilted on a movable machine. And, and for our audience out there, movable means that the head moves. So Correct. it's a long arm style machine. Um, and so uh, did you do the quilting? No, I did not. Um, a friend of mine in Canada, Ruth Quinn, did all the uh, machine quilting on it. It took her approximately 60 hours to do the quilting. Wow. Oh, well, you know, when you start doing this very close and all these little circles, that takes a while, yes, doesn't it? It certainly does. And she has little bugs that she put in her quilting oh, in different spots. Designs. And every block, the quilting is different. I see that. With this beautiful frame, quilted frame around each one of them. Exactly. Yes, that, exactly. that kind of adds to the cohesiveness of the quilt, doesn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Absolutely. And while she did it, she would um, send me pictures and discuss if I liked it, should she continue. Well, and it, it sort of looks like you've done some trapunto. Uh, and so does that mean she used double batting? That's absolutely <laughs> correct. Uh, okay. uh, she used a cotton batting and a wool batting. Yes. And by combining the two of them, it definitely puffs up and gives dimension to the applique. And one of the things that maybe people don't know about the wool batting is that it automatically springs. And so it also helps it so that your quilt doesn't get wrinkles in it quite so bad because the, the batting itself is going to spring out and not let it hold those wrinkles in there. That's absolutely true. And uh, it does make it very heavy. This quilt weighs about 10 pounds. Wow. Yes. Heavy quilt. Mm -hmm. Well, I know you're no stranger to entering our contests. And, That's correct. And, and so you've entered before? Yes, this is my third quilt in the um, Paducah show, in a Paducah show. And I won um, Red and Green Revisited in 2011, and it was also in the 2012 calendar. The quilt engagement calendar exactly. that AQS publishes. Yes. Well, certainly your work is beautiful and all of the colors that you've chosen. I, you know, you know I've done two books about borders and so mm -hmm. I love this stunning border on oh, this thank quilt. thank you. Thank you very much. Well, congratulations thank for you. winning this award that's sponsored by Tin Lizzie. And I bet we're going to see some more work from you soon. Oh, uh, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> and we hope we'll see some entries in the AQS Quilt Contest from you also. And you can always go to quiltweek.com and click on the contest button for all of the rules and prizes available.